Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another edition of WWE 2K15 Universe Mode. My name is Brennan Plays. Today we're coming at you with another episode of Monday Night Raw as we are two weeks away from the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. It's a big episode today because we will finally find out who is the final man in the six-man Hell in a Cell match for the, the WWE Championship. But first, Golden Stardust will take on the New Day in a Night of Champions rematch. Golden Stardust, of course, beat the Ascension last week. Will they be back in the title hunt? We'll wait and find out very shortly. RVD and Sheamus, they are finally going to go one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know if this is a number one contender match or not, but I would say it's going to be very likely to influence that, so they will go one-on-one. -on -one. Triple H will go one-on-one -on -one with the WWE Champion Seth Rollins. The Ascension's in action. They'll take on Cesaro and Kidd. Of course, Cesaro and Kidd did look pretty good a couple of weeks ago, and they've been on a bit of a roll, so can the Ascension get a win there? Randy Orton, the Viper, is in action as he takes on Ryback, who qualified last week for the Hell in a Cell matchup by beating Roman Reigns. And speaking of Roman Reigns, he gets a second chance. It's a six-man battle royal match. Mark Henry will fa face Christian, Daniel Bryan, Kane, Ziggler, and, of course, Roman Reigns. Six-man battle royal. The winner will get the last spot in the six-man Hell in a Cell match, and that will be our main event on tonight's Raw. That match is huge. We're going to be playing that one, so keep an eye out for that later on the video. Golden Stardust versus New Day. It is the New Day getting a win again, so I guess it wasn't a fluke. Triple H versus Seth Rollins. Triple H, he comes away with the victory, so that's an upset indeed. So Seth Rollins, he's had a couple of losses in recent times. I guess the, he's kind of just kind of struggling to come to deals uh, terms with his uh, new title reign. He hasn't really kicked it off all that great. As the Ascension, they knock off Cesaro and Tyson Kidd. I think the Ascension could be our new number one contenders for those tag titles as Ryback defeats Randy Orton as well. Ryback is on a roll. The former World Heavyweight Champion looking the goods again. It's been a long time since we've said that about Ryback, but he is really looking good at the moment as uh, we get ready for this Rob Van Dam versus Sheamus encounter. Two men who formed the, the tag team of the Celtic Thunder and they were the WWE Tag Team Champions at one point. Now... They are rivals. I don't know if, well, rivals is probably a bit of a stretch, but they are competitors. Two men who both want the United States Championship, who have both beaten the United States Champion, Dolph Ziggler. Now, which man will have will be the better of the two tonight? We'll find out. So, Sheamus and RVD in action. This should be a good one. This is the first time these two guys have met here in Universe Mode, if I can recall. So, this will be very interesting. We haven't seen these two guys go at it. And, of course, they've been... Well, they should know each other's game inside and out. Of course, former tag champs and uh, te teaming up for quite some time. I think they had probably been teaming up for oh, maybe six, seven, eight months. I think something like that. It's been quite some time now. So they've definitely have had a very good, long and successful stint as a tag team. And they haven't exactly broken up as a tag team. But you can see some signs of maybe, you know, I don't know of these two guys wanting to move on and try something different. Go back in the in the singles hunt. Now, obviously, RVD, when he debuted, debuted, he came in as a singles guy. And Sheamus is a former World Heavyweight Champion. So, Sheamus has had some success. And when RVD debuted, he obviously had... He didn't have much success, but, he, you know, he showed some promise. And I think both these guys, they went from that singles run... You know, they were at a point in their careers where they weren't really going to get singles championships anytime soon. They weren't really doing all that well as a solo act. So they went together as a tag team and they formed a really successful tag team together. And they were able to get themselves championships and keep them relevant. You know, considering that they were struggling for such a long amount of time, you know, as solo acts. You know, I think the tag team of the Celtic Thunder really did wonders for their careers and now gives them an opportunity to kind of grow from that, go on from the tag team, and perhaps pursue singles championships. And the United States Championship is certainly in their sights right now because they have beaten Dolph Ziggler. Both of them have beaten Ziggler, as there's a cover kick out of one by Sheamus. Both of them beat Dolph Ziggler. So many people are calling for a triple threat match here, and I think that might be the way to go, a triple threat match between these two. But we'll have to wait and see how these two go at it here tonight in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Um, I think triple threat match, let me know what you guys think. Should there be a triple threat match or should the winner of this match have Dolph Ziggler one-on-one? -on -one? Let me know in the comment section down below. I think triple threat match, personally. Um, I don't think there's been a better man in this whole situation. I think it's a pretty even game. Obviously, you know, let's say Sheamus wins tonight or, you know, Rob Van Dam wins tonight. Whoever wins this match, 
you know, is going to have the upper hand and probably the, is going to be the better of the two, so to say. But I definitely think a triple threat match uh, would be interesting, and I'll be looking forward to seeing that one. And be also another big challenge for Dolph Ziggler. But hey, Dolph Ziggler might not even be competing or defending his championship at uh, Hell in a Cell because he may be in the WWE Championship match. He is a part of the six-man battle royal coming up later on tonight. So that should be very interesting indeed as well. So at the moment, is Sheamus and Rob Van Dam going at it. In the middle of the ring, Sheamus got him up and plants him down. So both these guys, they've had their success, but it's time for them to move on. And here on Monday Night Raw, the US title's in their sights. I'm surprised these guys are going for the US title. I guess they're going, you know, thinking small. As Sheamus hits the white noise, Rob Van Dam kicks out at two. I'm surprised these guys are going for so small. I wouldn't say small of a title, but, you know, an opportunity it did come about to be in that six-man battle, uh, six-man hell in a cell match. You know, one of these guys could have been in that battle royal, but both of them tonight chose to be a part of this US championship situation. And, um, I don't know, I think that's probably a good decision. I mean, Sheamus has won the world title in the past, but it's been such a long time. It's been over a year since Sheamus has been the world heavyweight champion. Of course, he lost the championship a, a week after Money in the Bank, and uh, his last time he had a world title shot. Don't quote me, I could be wrong here, but I think it was at SummerSlam last year. So, it's been a long time between drinks for Sheamus as RVD. Looking good at the moment, but Sheamus puts an end to that as Sheamus is trying to get a bit of moment, momentum going. RVD put an end to it, and now Sheamus looking at... Well, I don't know, he's going up the top rope. RVD is dazed. Sheamus off the top. What's Sheamus going to do here? Double axe handle off the top rope, sends RVD down, and RVD kicks him away, trying to fend off the Celtic warrior. And, uh, you know, these two guys, like I've said before, great tag team. But I wonder, you know, did they kind of outgrow each other? You know, did they form any kind of disdain for one another? I mean, at the point where these guys, certainly RVD, they're getting on an age. You know, they've kind of done everything they wanted to do as a tag team. I think it was just a matter of time till they wanted to do their own thing. And they wanted to achieve their own goals personally. So now, maybe these guys, I don't know. I don't think they've turned on each other yet, but I think it could happen. I wouldn't be surprised. Perhaps it... Hell in a Cell, if it is a triple threat match, these guys could turn on each other. I don't know. As RVD sends Sheamus over the top rope. Big right hand. Sends him over. And I thought he was going to go flying over the top rope. It didn't happen, no. As he did fly over the top, but he just led it to try and get, him, get himself out of the ring. As Sheamus, Russian leg sweep down goes Rob Van Dam to the outside. As Sheamus falls it up with an elbow drop as well. So Sheamus in control of this match at the moment. But it's definitely back and forth at the moment. It really is anybody's game. These guys do know each other's game inside and out. It's hard to really say which one of the two have been the better or who's been the MVP of the tag team. It's hard to say. Both these guys have been very, very good for a number of months as a tag team. So it's going to be interesting to see who does end up winning this match because then we'll, I guess, we'll find out who has been the better of the two in the tag team, which will be definitely be interesting to find out. I personally would like to see that. Oh, powerbomb there by Sheamus. He can't capitalize. He does, not, he does so now, though. Two. Oh, RVD kicks out at two and a half. Thought for a second that he was going to get that just from the powerbomb. It was a very brutal powerbomb, though. RVD struggling to get to his feet. Sheamus really doing well at the moment. RVD striking back as uh, RVD set in the corner. Here comes Sheamus, but RVD with a counter. Gets the shot to Sheamus' skull, and uh, Sheamus again sends him into the corner. Now, this time, Sheamus... Is he going to get RVD where he wants him? Yes, he does. And these guys have no, you know, no troubles in, you know, bringing their A game and trying to beat the hell out of each other. Cover two. Kick out a two again. You know, even though they've been probably good friends for quite some time and tag partners, they're really bringing their A game. They really want to beat each other up here. They really want to, to win this match. They don't care the, about the consequences. They don't care at all. Gut red suplex by Sheamus. They want to beat each other up. They're giving it everything they have at the moment. Two from Sheamus. And he kicks out again at two and a half. RVD is in trouble though. Sheamus has all the momentum right now. RVD is basically trying to survive in this match. Whereas Sheamus has got all the momentum. He's going to try and hit that white noise again. There it is. The white noise from Sheamus. Is that enough to put Rob Van Dam away? The cover. Two. No, he kicks out again at two. 
How is RVD staying alive in this match? Sheamus with those big rights. And RVD trying to fight off Sheamus. Gets him into the corner. What's RVD got left in the tank? Does he have anything left in the tank? Big kick there by Sheamus. RVD still fighting though. It really is back and forth between the two. Sheamus is coming. Oh, big clothesline in the corner. And RVD sent down. Here's another cover. Two count. Oh, kicks out again. And at the moment, Sheamus is getting very, very close. Frustration perhaps trying to, is starting to build up for Sheamus. Is he going to get frustrated? The fact that he hasn't been able to put RVD away yet, but uh, you have to wonder, is there a bro kick on the way? RVD sent down there by Sheamus. Sheamus looking very, very good at the moment. RVD trying to get back to his feet. Sheamus, what's he got now for RVD? Brings him into the middle of the ring. Uh-oh, he's got RVD up. Powerbomb! But he can't capitalize. Yes, he can. Here we go. It took him a while. He's down on his haunches. Two, three. That's it. That is it. RVD trying to hang on for as long as he could. But Sheamus, just too damn good tonight. He just kept going and going and going. Absolutely relentless ruthless action tonight these guys gave it their all Sheamus the better of the two though big power bomb to finish off RVD and there you go Sheamus gets the win over RVD and what will probably be a triple threat match at Hell in a Cell for the United States Championship Rob Van Dam versus Sheamus versus Dolph Ziggler do you want to see that match? Let me know in the comment section down below. Unlike the real WWE, I'm actually listening to you guys. So your opinion does matter. Does it, should it be Sheamus versus RVD one-on-one? -on -one? Uh, sorry, Sheamus versus Ziggler one-on-one. -on -one, or should it be Sheamus versus RVD versus Ziggler for the US title? So singles match or triple threat match, let me know what you guys want. Is he going to be give RVD a chance? <laughs> or are we just going to keep with Sheamus? All right, time for our six-man battle royal matchup. This is... A big one, ladies and gentlemen, as we'll find out who will take the last spot in the six-man Hell in a Cell matchup, which consists right now of Ryback, who qualified last week, beat Randy Orton, who is also another member of that matchup. He beat Randy Orton earlier on tonight. Triple H, Seth Rollins as well, and of course the former WWE Champion, The Rock. So, of course The Rock won Triple Threat matchup last week, so... Seth Rollins has probably gone from being the guy that's unbeatable right now to being vulnerable. I mean, Triple H has beaten him. Roman Reigns has beat him up a couple of weeks ago. I think that really kind of sent some doubt to Seth Rollins' mind. He lost against DX. He took the pin. Shawn Michaels pinned him. So I think that's probably sent a bit of doubt in Seth Rollins' mind. By the way, Kane coming out. Here comes Christian. And, of course, Christian, you have to wonder, what's the situation with him and Chris Jericho? Jericho going to SmackDown, leaving Christian high and dry? Oh, yes, if Christian goes on to win the championship at Hell in a Cell, we could see Jericho and Christian, you know, double champion. The Charisma Code could definitely rule the WWE. He comes out, US champion Dolph Ziggler, who uh, is in a bit of trouble now that Sheamus and RVD have both pinned him. But Sheamus winning on earlier on tonight. Of course, we'll find out whether it will be a triple threat or singles match from your decision. I'll be reading the comment section. So if you've got a, a comment or a suggestion or an idea from me, definitely shoot me a comment. I'll be definitely reading them and uh, checking them all out. I always read your comments, guys. So don't think I don't read them. I don't respond not normally, but I do read. I'm more of a reader rather than a responder, I think. So here comes Daniel Bryan. Here's the guy that everybody's been telling me, give Bryan a chance, give him a shot. And I'm going to give him a chance tonight. It's going to be six-man battle roll, though. And here comes the man that gets a second chance. And this could be an unfavorable uh, decision. But Roman Reigns last week, he had a match against Ryback. He failed. Ryback advanced. Roman Reigns did not. Of course, it was Roman Reigns that hit the Superman punch and the spear on Seth Rollins after Seth Rollins blindsided Roman Reigns and tried to attack Roman Reigns after their match against DX at Old School Raw. And this six-man battle roll is underway. So Roman Reigns is wanting, he wants to get revenge on Seth Rollins. He's trying to do everything he can to get himself an opportunity against Seth Rollins. So this is his second chance. This could, this is definitely going to be his last chance. So uh, I think right now, you know, looking at the situation, I guess Dolph Ziggler, he's coming into this match with some things on his mind. I think his chances of winning are pretty low. 
Mark Henry's been struggling. Kane's picked up a couple of wins recently. Daniel Bryan, he got a win last week. Christian, I think some things are in his mind about Chris Jericho as well. His future is certainly up in the air. So it's uh, definitely a mixed bag of emotions right now in this match. You know, Mark Henry just came to Raw from SmackDown and has had a pretty woeful start to his uh, Raw uh, tenure. So he'll be looking to get a win as he's a power slam on Roman Reigns. So definitely a lot of different dynamics right now as Kane is in a lot of trouble. Christian trying to eliminate Kane early on, but Kane hangs on. Of course, Kane unmasking again uh, for the second time here in Universe Mode at Old School Raw. And he decided to keep the mask off. And uh, I think that might be a good decision. A bit of a fresh look for Kane. You know, after Kane has... He's been battling for a number of months now. And he's definitely been struggling. I, I wouldn't say that Kane is uh, exactly prospering or looking very good. Or, you know, his chances of winning are pretty slim right now. But he's... Starting to get a couple of wins, I think teaming up with his brother, The Undertaker, certainly sending back to uh, um, 2002 or 2003 or whatever the hell it was, and reminded of Kane that, you know, he was good at one point, uh, to say the least, and Kane starting to get some uh, newfound confidence, which is nice for Kane, for all you Kane fans, all two of you out there, that might be uh, pretty uh, exciting for you as uh, Ziggler gets set in the corner by Kane. Henry, he's there now to meet Ziggler and oh just tosses him like a rag doll into the corner Daniel Bryan in a lot of trouble now as Christian's trying to eliminate him Kane and Roman Reigns watching on now they decide to go at each other and Roman Reigns gets the upper hand in that situation so you know looking at the six man Hell in a Cell match you know we, ha we have the, the personal issues that we've seen with The Rock, Triple H, Randy Orton they seem to have now decided, okay, it's not about the personal issues anymore. They had that triple threat match. They've kind of settled that a little bit. Now it's time to, okay, we've got ourselves our offense in. You know, we've got a little bit of revenge on each other. Now let's try and turn our attentions to that six-man Hell in a Cell and try and win that WWE Championship. Of course, it's going to be Hell in a Cell. It's going to be brutal. So who knows what's going to happen in it. And it could be, you know, those guys could use the Hell in a Cell as that final stopping ground to finish off their rivalry against one another. And of course, Ryback, he's on a roll. He's got a couple of victories in a row now. He's really looking good. He beat Roman Reigns. He beat Rhino. And of course, he beat Roman Reigns again. So he's really got the, the number over Roman Reigns. And then he beat Randy Orton early on tonight. So I think that's four wins in a row for the big guy. So Ryback certainly on a... I guess on a resurgence, trying to get himself back in the top of the card. And a lot of you, a lot of you guys have been commenting and telling me, hey, what's the deal with Ryback? You know, he went from being at the top. He's been a sinking ship. You know, it looks as though the big guy is on his way back to the top, which is good to see. Former world champion, the former, I suppose, quote-unquote, uh, king of SmackDown. And uh, as Roman Reigns in a lot of trouble, Kane trying to eliminate him, Christian in the other corner in trouble as well. Who's going to be the first man eliminated? Mark Henry sent over the top rope by Dolph Ziggler. It, uh, Christian barely hanging on, stays alive though, is Mark Henry trying to hang on as well. You know, it's certainly uh, going to be a battle of, uh, at the moment in this match, of three different uh, matchups. And it probably will be the same thing at uh, Hell in a Cell, which I think why is the six-man battle roll is quite fitting, as Roman Reigns in a lot of trouble. The six-man Hell in a Cell match, uh, six-man battle roll match is quite fitting to prepare yourself for the six-man Hell in a Cell. Of course, it is a six-man match. And, you know, it's different rules or whatever, but, you know, it's always good to have that, you know, ability to get yourself mentally and physically prepared to face five other men at the same time. It's so difficult to prepare yourself for a match like this, you know, when you don't normally get to do or be in a multi-man match, you know, you normally are in singles matches all the time, so trying to defend or trying to win a championship in a six-man uh, hell in a cell match, you know, which has never been done here in Universe Mode, is definitely going to be very difficult to do. That's why the odds are not in Seth Rollins' favor to retain the title. Of course, he is a part of that uh, six-man hell in a cell, and uh, like I said earlier, couple losses now by Seth Rollins has set him back a bit. He went from being unstoppable, you know, after SummerSlam to Night of Champions, you know, all the way to winning the championship at Night of Champions. And now he's just kind of struggling a little bit. I think, you know, I think his mentality has kind of changed a little bit. He's gone from, okay, I got to impress. I got to win every single match to try and be the champion. And now that he is champion, he's probably thinking in his mind, I'm just going to save everything I've got 
for my title defense, which is may probably not the right mentality to have as a champion because you now go and try and reserve your energy and that can give momentum and confidence to your opponents. Triple H has been struggling in recent times and you know, he got a win as DX. He didn't win last week in the triple threat and but now he beats the champion one on one. Triple H's confidence is now gonna be sky high. As Christian trying to eliminate Daniel Bryan, Mark Henry trying to eliminate Dolph Ziggler, Kane trying to eliminate Roman Reigns. Three possible elimination predicaments underway. Brian back in, Ziggler back in. Is Reigns going to get back in as Christian sent over the top rope? So just to finish that point as Reigns, get back, Reigns gets back in, Triple H has now gone from rock bottom, no pun intended, to now sky high. You know, Triple H now probably believes in his mind that he can win that six-man hell in a cell, whereas you had asked him two or three weeks ago, you probably would have said no chance. You know, he was really struggling for wins. He was just not getting there. The confidence was down. Now, I think he'll be back in it. And Randy Orton, he suffered a few losses recently, so his confidence may be lacking. But The Rock, he's got a couple of wins lately. So there's a lot of guys now feeling a lot better about themselves in this six-man Hell in a Cell than it was probably a couple of weeks ago. And it may be from the, the fact that Seth Rollins is kind of just letting himself go a little bit, just kind of not worrying too much about it. You know, if he loses, then so be it. But it's not a big deal as much as it was earlier on, because if he lost on the road to Night of Champions, then he wouldn't have never got that title match. So now that he got the title, he doesn't really care as much anymore about losing these matches here on Raw, but I'm sure he'll care about uh, his Hell in a Cell match, which is probably why he's trying to conserve his energy. As Henry trying to eliminate Daniel Bryan over the top, there's yet to be an elimination in this match. Surprisingly, it's been going on for quite some time. Kane's in a lot of trouble. Roman Reigns trying to throw him out. Kane, can he hang on? No, he cannot. Kane's gone. Just as I said, there's been no eliminations. Kane is eliminated. He's the first man out. That is disappointing for Kane. It's, oh, Dolph Ziggler was eliminated on the other side as well. So the US champion will not be getting a title shot at Hell in a Cell. So Ziggler and Kane both gone. So two quick eliminations now as... Christian gets himself back in the ring as Reigns and Mark Henry going at it. And, oh, neck breaker there by Christian. As uh, Roman Reigns sent over the top. As Mark Henry, the world's strongest man, trying to finish Roman Reigns off with a big shot. Roman Reigns gets himself back in as now he's sent over the top again. Mark Henry trying to push him out. Oh, he's got him. He's got him in a lot of trouble. Henry might have Rain Reigns here. Is Henry going to ruin the fairy tale of Reigns is Reigns' chance to get a shot at Rollins. About to be over. In a blink of an eye, Reigns trying to hang on. Oh, yes, he does. Those feet did not touch. Henry cannot believe it. And oh, what a spine buster. That is bone rattling there by Mark Henry. That just crushed the rib cage. And oh, wait a minute, Christian. Oh, he's gone. The knee to the skull. Christian, see you later. There will not be one more title match for Christian at Hell in a Cell because he will be on the sidelines watching in the back as he is eliminated. Now Brian trying to do the same to what he did to Christian. Now to Mark Henry. Roman Reigns is going to come in for the assist trying to eliminate the big man. Reigns has got that foot on him now. He's doing everything he can, but Mark Henry too big, too strong, gets himself back in this matchup. And now will Reigns and Daniel Bryan team up to try and get rid of Henry? It's not, definitely not going to happen so far as Reigns takes down Bryan. And Reigns... Oh, down goes Mark Henry. Maybe Reigns favours himself to be able to eliminate Mark Henry by himself. Daniel Bryan using the ropes to get back to his feet. Henry still in this matchup. And one of the newest members of Monday Night Raw, Mark Henry, doing everything he can to try and get himself back in the title hunt. Of course, he is a... A former world heavyweight champion in his own right. Former Mr. Money in the Bank winner. Cashed in on Sheamus. And uh, held the title for a couple of months. Up until the big guy Ryback took it away from him. It's been a while since Mark Henry held world title gold. He has uh, recently won the, the Intercontinental Championship. Before coming over to SmackDown. As Reigns is trying to get rid of him now. Brian coming in for the assist. Is this the moment that Mark Henry's dreams are about to be over. They're about to touch the floor and be done with it. Reigns with the right hand. Out goes Mark Henry. It's down to Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns. Is Roman Reigns about 
to get to Hell in a Cell, to get his hands on Seth Rollins, or will Daniel Bryan finally get another championship opportunity that he deserves? Is Bryan finally get the, going to get the chance? No, he's not! Roman Reigns wins! Roman Reigns is going to Hell in a Cell! Well, he had a second opportunity, and he made the most of this one. He couldn't beat Ryback, but he's able to outlast five of Raw's best in this six-man battle royal, and now he will qualify for the Hell in a Cell match. He is the sixth and final member of that match. Six-man Hell in a Cell match for the WWE Championship. It's going to happen at Hell in a Cell, which is not too far away, ladies and gentlemen. And that will do it for today's edition of WWE 2K15 Universe Mode. If you enjoyed it, smash the like button for me. Help me get a few hundred likes. That'd be great. Make sure you subscribe as well. And uh, to see how I sell, and a hell of a lot more videos coming up from me. Follow me on Twitter. Help me get to a thousand followers as well. Check out the forums, BritainPlays.com forward slash forums. Hope to see you guys on there. And I hope to see you guys in future videos coming up real soon. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'm out.